I have to try and push myself as hard as I possibly can. I don't know where that stems from, but I like to challenge myself and I like challenging other people too. Every day when I wake up, the only thing that I know is to expect for the day to change. My name is Frederick Berselius. I'm the chef and owner of Aska in Brooklyn, New York. I love living in New York, but having come from Sweden, having come from Stockholm, I always look at everything with those eyes. So if I grab an onion, you know, pull an onion out of the ground, I compare it to how an onion tasted in Sweden when I was younger. At the restaurant, we have sort of consciously made the decision to work with ingredients that were available where I was from. Every time I taste something, it's sort of searching for the best version of that ingredient and then trying to match it. And if it's not, if it's not good enough, then we continue looking. Aska is very much a New York restaurant. It's located here in Brooklyn. I'm just trying to find that connection between where we are in New York with these memories of having grown up in Sweden. I want to find that balance between being an interesting restaurant where we serve food that is tasty and, and approachable, but also makes you think. Also stimulates more than just uh, more than just your taste buds. Regardless of how much you know about food and dining and other Michelin star restaurants, when you leave this dining room after your meal, I want you to have had an you know, unforgettable experience. When I started cooking, I, I sacrificed a lot to do this, including friends and free time. But that's why I think it's important for chefs to have something outside of the restaurant. I know I need something in my life to reflect on what we do every day. Funnily enough, I can't think of a sport that is more similar to being a chef and do what we do to competitive cycling. In order to get better, you have to train, you have to learn how you function, you have to learn your thresholds, how much stress you can handle. You have to find ways of making it easier for yourself. On the bike, that can be adjusting your saddle. In the kitchen, it can be how you set up your station. It's constantly reevaluating how you breathe, where you position your hands. It's a way to, to escape, it's a way to clear your head, it's a way to uh, plan for the week. It's, it's almost like a meditative state. It's also about exploring, it's also about being out in nature for, for four plus hours. Through just riding bicycles I've found mushrooms and ramp patches and met farmers and potters, you know, people who are in one way or another are involved in the restaurant today. Every day we put this pressure on ourselves to do the best we can. And the same thing goes for cycling. Sometimes I ride as far as I can in one direction because I know I have to ride the same way home. If you go two hours in one, you know, one way, then you, you have to pull yourself all the way home. And the same is with, with the restaurant. We set sort of goals where there's no turning back. And I think that's a good thing.